hello and welcome to another episode of Baofeng 24 TV here at Bauma China in Shanghai. And we are here at an exhibitor, a German manufacturer who is in the Chinese market for over 25 years. Bauer machine is based in Schrobenhausen in Germany and there it all started with the construction of drilling rigs. And somebody who we had on Baufum 24 TV several times is Dieter Stetter. He is the CEO of Bauer machine and yeah. uh, nice to have you Thank on you. the show. Yeah. Um, so what do you have here at um, Bauma China this year? Well, the real news is our locally manufactured CSM system, uh, which we attach to our locally manufactured BS80 carrier, which is uh, well known for the BG38. Now it has been extended to the, to the CSM system. What is the purpose? What is the application for CSM? CSM is cutter soil mixing. Someone who makes a concrete takes gravel and sand and mixes it with cement. We take the soil, the earth, uh, which is underneath the ground and mix it with cement, cement slurry, and then we form a continuous body of soil cement mix, which can be used for sealing off underground flow of water or contaminated water maybe. And it is a very efficient method because we can use the existing material. We don't have to buy sand or gravel and uh, we can create an underground structure. What are typical applications, for, for instance? Typical applications, uh, one is cut-off systems. You can use it in, uh, in dams or dikes where you just want to have an underground cut-off. Uh, we also use it for underground walls. You want to build an underground car park. So what is the key component of a um, cutter soil mixer? The key component is, is what we see here. This is uh, the, the mixing head, which is driven by uh, two gearboxes. Uh, the total power which comes out of it is about 300 kilowatt. And uh, this uh, mixing head mixes up the soil. And uh, somewhere in the center we inject the cement slurry, so we actually operate a little bit like a concrete mixing plant. The injected material, is that added when it goes down or it goes up? Generally, the main activity is uh, when you go up. It depends a little bit on the depth. For very shallow walls, let's say maybe to 20 meter, we do the process already when we go down. If the walls are deep and the penetration time is long, we have to of course make sure that the thing doesn't get hardened before we are back to the ground. So for the deep walls, uh, commonly we use bentonite to do the penetration process, to lubricate the whole thing a little bit. And for the, uh, for the shallow walls, we start with cement straight away. So I see this wear and tear starts here. Yeah. Um, why is it that these uh, picks uh, have this surrounding here? Well, this is the process how you weld it on. It's, it's something like shot on with a, with a welding gun. Uh -huh. And uh, in order to hold it during the process, you basically need this capsule. This capsule will, will, not, su will not survive very long because okay. inside here is, is, the, is the tungsten materials. How long do they normally last? If you work in soft soils and clays, they can last the project. If you work in very aggressive materials like uh, gravels uh, with, uh, with a high abrasiveness, it could happen that you have to do it two times a week. You have to uh, replace the studs. What is the total power installed in this rig? The rig has a 354 kilowatt engine and this is mainly when you talk about the cutting process, uh, almost the full power is coming out here. Yeah. What is the, the maximum depth you can operate? With this rig is called CM35, CSM35, so it's a 35 meter depth. We can go with this type of, with the Kelly guided machine, as, as we can see it here. Can you give me a general idea of your uh, perception of the Chinese market right now and your, your business outlook for the Chinese market? Well, we are, when we look at the exhibition here, we can see that it has changed a little bit. It is not overcrowded and uh, I think 
I would uh, call the Chinese market as in the process of uh, normalizing. Yeah, it has been uh, very much overheated in the past and uh, I would think a lot of the participants of the market, they, they went with the idea of uh, the more I produce, the more I can get. And uh, I feel a little bit that this is now getting to normalization, that people have to look at what the market really needs and what the world needs and then uh, be a, a reasonable competitor in the world market. Yeah, this was just a snapshot in the uh, special foundation equipment industry right now, but nevertheless it was quite interesting, I think. The question is, um, what kind of comments do you have? What kind of questions? Just drop us a comment below.